Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. Uh, I was going to go over to the snowfields, and then I remembered we hadn't actually done the Lanedale Catacombs yet. Um, obviously once we've done here, we can make our way over from the uh, the Inner Consecrated Snowfield to this little location just here. That's probably all I'm going to, going to get done in this video, so that we are ready for... Um, I can't remember called now, Mogwin Palace or something like this. Um, gonna have some fun in there. Uh, the cool thing is, we have the item for dealing with Mog, which is also very nice. Ah, oh, this bit. Oh, you know what? Give me a lot of life. There's not even loot in this first room, so I just, I just wouldn't bother. Little here. Uh, those ones blow up, so we have to be. Yes, there you are. Excuse me. We'll bleed in three hits, so they go down. Not too bad. It's just really not worth it for me. Um, <laughs> lost. I lost like a hundred k runes in the uh, drop down part of the last couple of videos, but it's really not been that big an issue, I don't think. Um, it'll feel like nothing once once we get to the Halig tree, anyway. Um, because the, the, the rooms that enemies drop there are just kind of a bit ridiculous. But then again, the difficulty of the area is also kind of ridiculous. I guess that's actually kind of makes sense. Uh, so we want to put a bow on. Give me a bow, please. Ooh. Fire into that. Oops, wrong bit. Yes. Uh, just so just so everybody knows, uh, we picked up this the last episode, right? This gate, this item is completely game changing. If I were to respec um, into a strength build and put this on, uh, the the game is over already. Um, that eight to one guard boost there, combined with the um, guard boost talisman, is basically going to make it so it doesn't take any stamina to block, and it has obscene resistances. Which means that um, you just basically take a damage. Um, all attacks fall under some some form of like attack damage. There's no like kind of completely bypassing your defenses, and so that shield just absolutely um, puts easy mode on the rest of the game. So if you're struggling, stick it on. Like it, it's difficult to go wrong with it. It is just a monumentally ridiculous shield. We need this guy to burst down real quickly. Um, there's really no space to fight him anywhere else, so we've just got to take him down quickly, like so. So, yes, we've been enjoying mage mode, but switching to um, switching to that is just silly, um, especially with some of the weapons you can put with it. Because if you if you're having the strength to wield it, you're probably going to have the strength to wield like a big massive sword with it as well, and. Well, uh, you'll have like the ultimate defense and the ultimate offense in close combat, which is just obviously going to be good for you. Uh, something is hidden here. Little big boy. Where really should sit before firing these at you, shouldn't I? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Yes, I wish that would actually slow you. It doesn't seem to slow them down at all. Uh... I know it makes them take more damage, so I shouldn't really complain too much. Um, so we'll have a series of similar looking rooms. This is not the first room. You can tell because there's not stuff spewing their guts everywhere on you. So we're just going to make sure there's nothing up here. Drop down. I ain't bothering with this many of these. See you, Lutor. Is it trying to fool me into thinking this is the previous room? Yes, it is. These aren't ragdollable enemies, but this isn't where we killed anything. Uh, which means that's probably the path of progression. What we want to do is we want to go the other way. Let's go the other way first. 
It's been a few days. <laughs> by, the time I, by the time I'm on my fourth place with this game, I'll have everything pretty much down. It's going to be the boss room. Is the boss already open in this one? Can't be the case. Can it? It's not because we pulled the switch, is it? Outside of the catacomb. Oh, it's not actually a boss room. <laughs> it's tricking me, and it's tricking me twice here because I remember you. No cuddles. No, 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 no. You do not have the, uh, the permission to hug Andraste. He's very picky about who she gives hugs to. you down. The um, Magic Scorpion has been surprisingly fine to use so far. We haven't been one shot too much, which was the main the main worry. Um, I don't know if it's been like fixed. Apparently Lusat's staff has been changed as well. Um, I saw in a video. Apparently it's um, the FP drain that it administers has been reduced. Which may well make it manageable. I haven't tried it since then. So yeah, we came that way. We did the right on the left. Yeah, that's right. Now go this way. So there is more testing to be had to decide whether or not I think that is now worth it. Or the damage increase. It'll, it'll come down to how much damage per FP and how much faster that allows you to kill stuff. Because um, like the, the the main consideration you have to take into account is you here? No. You alive? Yes. Thanks for me. Um, because you can you can do the math of damage to FP. Um, but there is obviously the secondary um, consideration of how quickly you can kill something. Um. And, and that has to be worth it, right? So, like, if killing something a little faster saves you a, a, a health potion, for example, like with this guy, maybe, like, this guy would be dead right now with the Lucet staff, um, there are, there are different savings to be had. And this is... Is it the same drop-off or a different one? Can't see zombies here. So this is still a different one. I think it's, it's a little bit like a circle. Before we go though, we want to go up the uh, up the elevator. I was just clearing this way. Not an elevator. It's a trap, technically. But we're going to treat it like an elevator. Ah, this is not the same one. But it's not. I love how they do that and make it look almost identical. I don't know what it is. That's a lie. Makes things mega confusing. This is, the, this is the first room. Oh -ho. Door has opened. I can't remember where it was. It was in like the first area, wasn't it, I think. So I don't think we want to drop off here. I think that was the first room we came into. Instead we'll go the other way. Drop off there to see where that goes. I can't remember. Um, loot wise, we're supposed to get a Halig Drake talisman in here. We've got the Crucible Tal talisman already. Um, we get the Lord of Blood's Exaltation, which is the boss prize. Halig Drake talisman. I don't think we need that though.
So yeah, we'll go ahead and drop it over here. I don't think this is the same one either. This is a third room that looks very similar. And we know that because it only has one exit. they've weakened those. Either, either that or I've just gotten used to fighting them. Uh, <laughs> like, they were giving me real trouble when I first started fighting them. Right, so now we can go this way. We can head back out to the Grace. I didn't really use all that much. It's kind of nice. Mm, not this way. Not this way. Was the lift. I want to go towards the lift. Excuse me. Excuse me. I just don't know why I suddenly had an urge to just pull off to the right there. <laughs> no, it's so weird. So where is the Halidry Talisman? Because I don't think we've seen that. Found on a corpse next to a lesser spirit called a snail. Oh, we got it. Oh, that class is the same. What? We got it in the previous episode. What am I thinking? It's where the spirit snail was. This is what opened, so we can rest at the thing now. Let's just check this because that's going to annoy me. We have missed it. Alec tree. I don't know what it looks like. One minute. Yes, we've got it. Gives us res resistance to lightning. Oh yeah, I thought that gas was going mad. I was like, what? Okay, in for the boss. Um, I can't remember what this is. I have no memory of this boss. Esgar, Priest of Blood. Oh, he's got stupid dogs. Yeah, they gotta die first. They are probably more dangerous than he is. With their stupid, like, mega ridiculous attack. Yeah. Okay. That's it now. Game over. <laughs> Esgar, Priest of Blood. Game over. No. No. Lord of Blood's Exultation. Don't actually know what that does. I haven't used it. There we are. That does that. Let's see what it does. Oh, it increases attack power if you inflict bleed. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to be using that. Uh, so that allows us to leave. That's good. Um, and gives me enough time to get us over to... 
the uh, the entrance from Ogwen. So obviously we're now going to be heading over to the consecrated snowfield. And the game is starting to wrap up. Uh, I don't know how I feel. <laughs> We've come so far. And if you made it this far through the walkthrough, I love you. Thank you very much. Um, we have Kremlin Power of Missoula to do. We have the Mobian Palace to do, which is the other half to this. And we have the Halleg Tree to do. And then it's just the final iteration of the capital, and we are we are finished. Um, admittedly, it's still probably more than a few videos away. It's going to take us a little bit of time to get through those areas. But that's like all of the dungeons that we've done. All of the dungeons, I think. And we've done pretty much all of the story quests. I should probably check once we've done this. Uh, this zone, I'll check through all of the NPC interactions to make sure we've got everything that we need. And then, uh, yeah, we are onward to the end. We've already seen Millicent here, so the next time we see her should be in the Hallig Tree. Yeah, it, it's just, it, if you want to get the um, the ending trophies, it's essential that we progress her quest line. So we'll make sure we do that. Where's the teleporter? Should be around here. Should be like practically. Let me have a check here. Should be. Yeah. Should be right there. Let's get this little piece of loot on here and see if there's a better sight place for it. I mean, those uh, Albin Oryx are pretty indicative of it, to be honest, because we'll be seeing a lot of them in there. Yeah, it's right there. Pretty good. Hero's Rune! <gasps> Nearly died. Okay, here we are. Mogwin's Palace. Coming right up. Look at it, it's crazy. <laughs> uh, so we'll just get to the first grace before we start. Uh, Making our way around in here. There's an in, there's a series of invasions we have to get done as well um, before we can do the boss because otherwise it stops it coming in. Uh, 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 uh. Obviously, we can't see anything right now because the uh, we don't have the map fragments. Maybe we'll make an effort to get that as well. If that's worth making into a video, the map fragment. So this place can be a bit of a nightmare. Um, we're going to want some arrows. So we can cheese that our dog off the ledge. And I think we can pretty much like just openly kill most of these. Yeah. So like, if you want. Um, Easy place to get yourself some runes. Isn't terrible. These ones that are kind of sleeping on the ground. They don't really aggro. These red ones on the ground are a bit, a bit nasty, but. Shouldn't be the worst idea. You know, a 2k each. You can uh, certainly make yourself some runage here. 
rather quickly. In fact, a round of these pretty much makes up for the, the 100k that I lost when I was doing the jump offs. So it's kind of nice, isn't it? So I'm going to do one more round so that I can uh, get one level because that'll make me feel good about myself. And then uh, in the next episode, we'll be continuing on with this place. I probably am going to do a quick video on grabbing the map fragment. Because otherwise the place is a pain in the ass and you can't see what you're doing. So uh, yeah, we'll do that shortly. See you all again soon.